let's create two default cubes, name them Greg and Bob, and disable the mesh render component to one of them. Because in this video, we're going to see how to detect when the colliders of Greg and Bob overlaps. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. We are going to use trigger events. A couple functions that Unity automatically call when two colliders overlap if certain conditions are met. We need to pay attention to these conditions, otherwise it won't work. First of all, we need two colliders involved. In my case, as I created two default cubes, these objects have a collider by default. Then one of the colliders should be set up as trigger. A trigger collider doesn't act as an obstacle, so in my case the trigger collider will be the invisible object. We also need that at least one of the objects involved has a rigid body component. Let's add the rigid body to the visible object and also disable gravity for this example. Last but not least, we need a script to define the functions that Unity will automatically call when the colliders overlap. So let's create a new script and assign it to Greg. It's important to assign the script in the same object as the collider. Inside the script, we will define the following functions on trigger enter, on trigger stay, and on trigger exit. These are Unity functions similar to start and update. They are functions that Unity automatically call. And these functions are pretty straightforward. On trigger enter is automatically called when a collider and a trigger collider overlap for the first time. On trigger stay is continuously called as long as the collider and the trigger collider stay overlapped. And on trigger exit is called when the collider and the trigger collider separate. So you can use these functions to apply actions at different moments of the execution. The parameter defined in the functions is the other collider that overlaps with our collider. And by our collider, I mean the collider that is assigned to the same game object as the script we are writing. So we could use that variable to access to the game object and make whatever we want. For example, destroy that object or get a component from it. In this case, we'll just write a couple messages in the console using our name and the name of the object of the collider that comes as a parameter. If you press play and make the colliders overlap, you will see those messages. As you can see, Greg is able to know when overlaps with Bob. Now, pay attention to this. I'm going to assign the same script to Bob, clear the console and make the objects overlap again. Now Bob can also know when he's overlapping with Greg. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.